Good afternoon, Kylie Vitucci with you today. How are you all? Stampin' Up! Demonstrator here in Australia. If you haven't heard of Stampin' Up! before, well, you will after today. You're going to be hearing all about it. <laughs> so jump on in. Hopefully we have a few coming live today. Um, lots happening in the Batucci household, as always. Muckabilly happening everywhere. Everyone's been asking me, what's muckabilly? It means to accidental or unintentional shopping. We're all pretty good at that. I like me a bit of muckabilly here and there. <laughs> good afternoon, Christy. Hey, Donna. Hey, Shelly. Hi, Kayla. What are you doing here? You must be on a lunch break. Good to see you all jumping in. Yay, there's already 24 here. Wow. Hi, Carrie. Linda. Hi, Linda. Pop it. Oh, you love punch art. I love punch art too. That's where I started with punch art. Hi, Carrie. Alia, come on in. Oh, thank you. Looks very stampin' up, doesn't it, this top? <laughs> Hi. I was thinking maybe it's like Poppy Parade or something like that. You did a bit of muckabilly today too. Oh, very good. <laughs> we all love to muckabilly. Accidental shopping. Best word ever. So I've got, oh, you're a night shift. Oh, at least you get to be here live. That's nice. Thank you for your hard work. So I've got lots of exciting things to show you. I was partway through building my um, colour ticket folder and I thought, oh, you probably would all want to see me actually finish this because it's very sweet. This is just um, 14 millimetres by 10.5 and then I folded that in half. And then I've got a little pocket here, which was just four centimetres by, by seven that I put in. And then that can fit in my little tickets that go in here for the people that my lovely customers that order with me this month and next month and so they go in like that and then I've got these two things that I've printed up here that I'll stick to the front I'll show you how it looks once I stick it down I was hoping to have it done before I went live but you know I can't do it all Try to squeeze too many things. Hi, Louise. Nice to see you too. So I'll glue that in there and I'll show you what it looks like. It's so cute. Look at that. So adorable. And then I'll do the front. So basically what happens is my lovely customers order with me. And hello there, Kylie. And we get, um, oh, you've been doing some muckabilly too, Michelle. We're, we've been all doing some muckabilly today. Some unintentional, accidental shopping. <laughs> so that's the front. So there we go. I thought I'll finish it while I'm with you because I wanted to show you it. But how fun is that? And then they get to collect the, um, the little colour vouchers. And depending on what they, what they get, my lovely customers... So I think I've got a little, oh, uh, this one's written on. I'll get this one over here. Oh, thanks, Randy. So all my lovely VIPs should have something like this. I think this is the right, yes, this is the right one. So you'll have the collect and win promotion. And then depending on what you get, you stick them down. And you'll get to collect that voucher. But the exciting thing is there's also little, um, instant wins as well. And for my lovely crazy crafters, I'm testing this with my um, customers, but I'm definitely thinking about doing it for the team as well. Cause I think this would be a lot of fun for the team. So watch this space. I just thought it's probably a bit too much to launch two things, two different things, similar, but two different things at the same time. So for my lovely team that are watching, um, it is a great term for shopping, muckabilly. Muckabilly is the word. <laughs> we all need a bit of muckabilly in our life. <laughs> so I thought for my team, we could do it um, where if you reach a certain level of sales or if you got a recruit, depending on what you achieve in the month or two months, 
I'm glad it arrived, Mandy. Fantastic. Sorry about the delay. Oh, look at me with my big bit of lippy on there. <laughs> that can be my display. Ready? <laughs> I should do this. Ready? This is the this is the trick, and I didn't do it. Take off the lipstick. Look, it's all on my finger now. I should be right now. You like my lippy? I noticed, I watched a bit of Dana the other day, and it was so cute. She was doing her lippy live. I thought that was so adorable. Dina Recal. I used to say Dana Recal. Dana Recal. I had it different. Anyway. Recal. No, Recal. It's Recal. Dina Recal. <laughs> I get it. I pronounce her name wrong. She's like, no, Kylie, you're saying it wrong. <laughs> so anyway, this is very cool. This is my little little promotion over the next two months for my lovely VIPs, any customers um, that want to have a play, collect and win. There's lots of things to win, including instant prizes too. And yes, I got it from Macca's. Macca's is just so awesome because they're doing Monopoly now. And I thought, why can't we play along with something like that with Stampin' Up? I actually said to my DDM, how fun would it be yeah, she does it at the start of her videos. I saw that. She's like, no, I'm putting my lippy on. <laughs> I thought that was very good. <laughs> um, yeah, so interesting with um, Stampin' Up, I said to them, wouldn't it be fun? Here in Australia, we have uh, Coles Shopping Centre have done these little shopping, like the little plastic um, shopping things. So like, you know, Dymo liquid laundry or... Um, Nutella, little Nutella jars, things like that that you can collect. <laughs> you can't even win a small fries. Um, so it's a very fun. They collect all these items. I'll come back to you, Katina. I'm, I am listening. Um, so you can collect these little plastic things. And I said to my DDM, wouldn't it be cool if we had like tiny little big shots or a little stamper artist? Um, like little things in miniature, little stamp set. I think we just love collecting things in miniature. I thought it would be so cool if Stampin' Up! had something like that. Collect all the little plastic collectibles. <laughs> She's like, okay, we'll think about that one. <laughs> I don't know if that will happen. But anyway, I thought that would be very fun. So back to you, Katina. I <laughs> know, wouldn't it be cute? I would adore it, especially a little tiny big shot or a little, the markers case, like have the little markers case in, in plastic. Yeah. So this is um, my promotion for my lovely customers. If they, every $25 that they spend, you get four vouchers for every $25. So these are the little vouchers on the inside and they're all the colors of the Stampin' Up. So it's good too, because you get to learn all the new colors and you get to see just in case you've missed a few, because we've had a color renovation. So you might've missed a couple of colors and gone, why do I not have that color in my collection? This needs to be rectified immediately, especially if you're missing gorgeous grape. Oh my goodness, stunning. There's a few that snuck in that aren't in colors and are brand new colors in the core collection. So this will help you see what you're missing. But when you collect them all, then I have this little, um, I don't know what you would call it, little spreadsheet. And then you stick them down. How did I make that? I designed it on Photoshop. That's how I made that. Or do you like this little one here? This is just a little, that's just a, um, I was telling people right at the beginning, uh, 14 centimetres by 7. So, you, yeah, 10.5 by 7 on the front, but the full is 10.5 by 14. I don't know what it equates in inches. I'm sorry. Something similar to that. If I lean over here where I've got inches, I think it's just over 5, probably 5.5 .5 inches by, yeah, a bit over... What is it? Oh, no, sorry. It's 6.5 by like five inches, something like that. Ah, oh, thanks, Katina. I'm very excited about this promotion. So it runs for two months till the end of October. I've had a lot of messages from a lot of demonstrators going, oh, why didn't I stink and think of that? You're so annoying. And I said, thank you. Thanks for that compliment. <laughs> because I posted all of the vouchers last night for the customers so far and there are a lot of vouchers going out. One customer, she has 52 vouchers that have gone out. So she's going to get some pretty cool stuff. 
and there's like yeah vouchers I've got free postage I went through all my cupboards and I'm like what goodies have I got around here one of the goodies that I found in my cupboard get out ready for this large letter framelits I think it's the one of the most expensive items in the catalog I think they're like are they a hundred dollars those large letter um framelits but anyway I found one of them so someone's going to be getting themselves one of them I've got some of those color kits in fact <laughs> are you ready for this I'm going to show you <laughs> these this is all the goodies that I found in my room that I'm giving away yes this is what's giving away and the funniest part is is it literally I went through my cupboards and I'm like what is around here that that I need to that needs to find a home so this is coming to all my VIPs. <laughs> so these are the instant wins. But there's also the vouchers as well. Yeah, I know. Because I was like, I've got all these on-stage bags and there's some of these markers that are still current and I can't sell them. So why, why have them sit here? They're brand new markers. So they're going to... Yes, it's an entire set of markers in there too. An entire set. Because <laughs> they were the old set and I got them and yeah, I can't really do much with an old set. That's still current, but the old set. So anyway, that's what's going to happen the next two months. Oops, something fell. But anyway, even things like this, like look at this stamp set. Letters for you. I've got um, the, the planner refill. I found that in my cupboard. I'm like, oh, I think I'm doing all right. I don't think I need the refill. So someone's getting the refill. <laughs> Please order, order customers. Every $25, you'll get a reward. What's that one? Oh, yeah, the stitch-shaped framelits. Yeah, it's pretty cool. There's a lot of stuff here. And these are all the instant wins. On-stage bags. These cool color kits. Yeah, embossing folders. There's even a stamp set here called Rooted in Nature. Oh, I'm very excited. There's blends. We've got blends. We've got these amazing um, cellophane cases. If you don't have any of these, I'm telling you, you need some of these cellophane base. They're like, um, they store, I think, up to six cards, was it? Was it six cards? But anyway, they're really cool. Great for gifts and things too. What else have we got in here? Celebrate you thinlets. There's a lot of thinlets in here actually. What's this thinlets? Oh, the large letters. The large letters thinlets. So these are all the instant win prizes. Petals and more thinlets. So these were all gifts that I got given and I'm like, well, and there's some, in fact, there was a new one that came today. A customer was like, Pretty much all of it's current except for this one. This one is no longer, you're no longer able to get them. The cellophane cases are in the catalogue, Angie. Five cards and five envelopes. Thank you, Poppet. You're the best. So, yes, they come from, I should find the page for you, actually. There's even memories and more um, sets here. The, this one here. Best Root, Memories and More card pack. So, yes, there is a lot of goodies. Things that I got from the trip um, from Alaska, different gifts that I got from there. So, they need a home. They need someone to go to. And Bruno's very excited because I was cleaning out the room. He's like, what else can we give away? What else? He's trying to give away all sorts of things. Oh, they're fantastic. I know, Angie. I'm, I'm the same. In fact, I'm going to get one out and show you how awesome they are because they're they're one of those item no you can't buy on stage bags so they're a super duper win and we all want them so you sort of just push this out and this becomes like a little box for you to hold like this is perfect for gifts so you just sort of play with the there we go and it becomes an acetate box. Ah, oh, thanks for coming along, Karen. Is this your first time watching me? Sorry about that. <laughs> it gets a bit cray cray around here. That's all I'm saying. 
So that folds and then you have your have your cool acetate box. So there you go. Isn't that awesome? So don't miss them. What page are they on, Bruno? You're already looking for me. He's in the next room being my 2IC. <laughs> oh, they're good for holding blends, Wendy. That's a great little tip. Did you hear that, Bruno? Yes. That might be our new little holder for the blends. I like that idea. And they're quite inexpensive too. Page 193. Thank you um, for that, Mandy. <laughs> My mother wants mine. <laughs> Yes, that's a very good idea. And then Wendy's saying stick them all together. And then, oh, thank you. Yes, Karen will go and watch Karen too. <laughs> um, so, yeah, that's a great, really great idea. Thank you for that tip. I like that. So many things we can learn from each other, isn't there? So, yes, that is my collect and win promotion. I, I really hope that lots of you play along because there's a lot to win. So let's go to Random Act of Kindness. I had a few Random Act of Kindness cards and I'm very excited because some of them are Love It, Chop It, which we all love, Love It, Chop It. We love to use our designer series paper. Don't hoard it, chop it. Oh, you can also emboss them. What? My mind is blown. I'm going to have to try this now. <laughs> oh, so this is a gorgeous card. This is actually for Bruno. And um, it was from the lovely um, Sandra Bleatham. I oh, know, Beatham. I always say Bleatham. Thank you for checking, Angie. It's actually at about 30%. And I meant to get a charger on the way in. And guess what? I did this time. <laughs> There's a first for everything. I'm actually a bit organized today. First for everything. But anyway, this is the gorgeous card from Sandra. And look at this poem. I'm, I've been calling Bruno a glowworm ever since, Sandra. Thank you so much. I wish I was a glowworm. A glowworm is never dumb, glum. How can you be grumpy when the sun shines out your bum? Oh, I love it. So I'm like, Bruno, you're a glowworm. Just be happy. The sun shines out your bum. Love it. Really love it, Sandra. I'm going to be using this quote on Bruno all the time. <laughs> How can you be glum when your sun shines out your bum? Gotta love that. <laughs> now, this is from a lovely customer of mine. And she said, thanks so much for being a gem, Tracy. And Tracy, I absolutely adore this card. In fact, my nails go with your card today, Tracy. <laughs> you like that, Bruno, do you? <laughs> we all need to be a glowworm. <laughs> but Tracy said to me, I was so nervous about sending you a card. I didn't feel like it was good enough. And part of me was like, oh, that's so sweet. But part of me, it breaks my heart when I hear how many people feel nervous about sending their cards. Do you know how personal and how beautiful it is to send your cards? Please, please, please don't ever be shy to send a card. Don't ever hold back. Don't let your own feelings stop you from sending beautiful love to someone else because that would be really sad. We've got to make it less about us and more about the other person and what it feels like to, to receive something like this. And it's touching to me when I receive every single card that I receive just touches me so much because it's so special. I almost get sad on days that there's no card, no mail in the in the letterbox. It's like, oh, no cards today. And it's a bit spoilt, isn't it? <laughs> but it really is so special when you receive them. So don't ever, ever, ever hold back because you think your cards aren't good enough or they're not um, special enough or they don't have enough on them. You know what? It's, it's so much more than what your card is. It means so much more than that. So don't ever hold back. All right. Good. I know. Isn't it the best? And I'm so excited because I got this one from Tracy, who's a customer of mine. And I got this one from Amanda, who's in my team. And I love that you can just chop this paper, put them on the front 
and then have the sentiment. It's so awesome. Yay, you received your parcel, Julie. That's so exciting. And I just love it because it's so, this is just such a great way. Using the designer series paper is an awesome way of being able to get a whole lot of a stack of cards done. And look how beautiful they look. They're so stunning. So this is just a perfect way to make the most of your designer series paper. Do a full stack. And then if you want to dress some up, you can add like another layer on top of it if you want to. Like you look at this one here. If I wanted to put paper in the background, did you all see my video? I did a, a YouTube video on this one. I was very pleased with myself. I'm, I said, you know what? I'm doing a video. I'm biting the bullet. I won't do my usual jabba jabba and I'll just get in there, do it, do a card and design it. And it's going really well. Everyone's put some comments there and I've had a lot more um, subscribe to my YouTube channel, which is always exciting. I'm always like, yay! New subscriber! Yeah. <laughs> so yes, this is beautiful, this one. And that's the first Frost stamp set, including the sentiment with the tailored tag punch and the petal burst um, leaves. But if you put um, designer series paper behind that, just as stunning, and then you can layer it still with stamping. So I'm sorry about causing muckabilly. Muckabilly will occur. I need to have an asterisk. Muckabilly may occur. <laughs> Muckabilly is quite likely. <laughs> so that's that. Anyway, thank you for everyone who went over and saw my YouTube video on this and left a comment. Heart. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Now, another random act of kindness card I got from my two team members. And what's really exciting is this is a soft sayings card kit. Remember your card kits. And remember that they're cash and carry. So... I can have them on, on stock here and sell them to anyone. I can have them ready. Hello, Leslie. Good to see you here. And this is another gorgeous one. This is, this is a Country Lane stamp set. This is so gorgeous, this stamp set. Now, both of these came from my team members because the exciting thing that happens for my team is they get to collect vouchers. Sorry. Oh, I'm dropping them everywhere. So the vouchers that they collect, they get a different congratulations card. Look, I've got a piece of cardstock. Thank you, cardstock. Um, they get a different, so if they recruit, they get vouchers. If they reach a certain level of sales in the month, they get a voucher. Um, what other? Oh, we have a drawer of the month and they get a voucher for that. So this lovely customer, she has reached so many different goals, oh, including a silver advancement um, that she got in May. So she's collecting all of these um, to basically use to claim vouchers. So they get to order some goodies from me, which is so exciting. Like she's got here, can I please place this order? Big shot, this. So it's really awesome. So that's Rebecca Jo. Rebecca Jo Unwin, thank you very much for the card. And this one here was from Sandra. Sandra Mackey. So thank you, girls. And I'm glad you got to redeem your vouchers as well. And any crazy crafters out there, don't feel obligated to send me cards. I mean, I won't refuse when you send me a card with your vouchers, but don't feel you have to. <laughs> you could just send the vouchers. It's perfectly fine. <laughs> but, you know, we just love to send things, don't we? So, yes, it's very exciting. My team gets lots of gifts. Sometimes my customers say, I don't want to join your team. I don't want to join because you look after us so well. Then, you know, you won't look after me when I become a team member. Oh, yes, I will. You'll get looked after just as well. So don't be holding back from being a demonstrator because you don't think that you'll get looked after. Trust me, you'll be fine. I will look after you. Now, we have a card of Bruno's. This is using all of the current in colors. Can we name them all? I always forget this one. What's this one, Bruno? I can't hear him. Call me Clover, Blueberry Bushel, Lovely Lipstick, Pineapple Punch. What's this one? Grapefruit Grove. It just came to me. Maybe because Bruno was yelling it from the room next door. <laughs> Yay! Grapefruit Grove. GG. 
So that is really cute because this is using varied vases, which was actually inspired by Mary Fish, this stamp set, for reaching her million dollar earning. And the swirls, which look how beautiful that design is, that's from the new holiday catalogue. You want to get your hands on that embossing folder. Muckabilly! Whoops! Accidental shopping. <laughs> Now, I also got a lot of gifts at the door the other day. Majority of them were actually uh, Blends Club, Paper Club, and Cardstock Club. Um, what other club? Oh, the gifts of the month for my customers. But I did get myself a present. I did do a muckabilly. And the muckabilly that I did was this one. I realized I hadn't ordered this. Do you get to that point? You're like, all right, I've got everything. I've ordered everything. It's all good. We're done. Because I usually order it right at the beginning. Everything I want all in one go. Because, you know, it's it's more fun for um, unboxing with a whole heap of stuff, right? So I got this one because I suddenly realized I must have forgotten to put it in. So I am very excited about this because look at these. I don't know how I forgot to put this in. Delicate Lace Edgelets. Aren't they to die for? Check these out. I don't know how I've lived without them, especially this one here. This is so geometric and awesome. I'm going to have a lot of fun with these edgelets. <laughs> Michelle's done enough muckabilly today. Well, I may be causing another one. <laughs> Delicate lace edgelets. They are just beautiful. I think they're just going to be such a nice addition. Yes, I know. You only just got them last week. I know there was just, I don't know what it is. I just missed them in the catalog and I'm very happy now that I've got them. Look at this even, beautiful. I know they're so pretty. So watch this space. I will definitely be doing a card on them ASAP. Uh, that is a very good question, Julian. I'm so glad you asked it. I feel as though it would be very unkind of me to accept Christmas cards if I don't celebrate it. So even for the swap in Orlando, I actually put um, that our theme for our swap be encouragement. So, you know, it's the end of the year. We could definitely do like, you are amazing, you rock, well done, an amazing year. So that's the sort of the way I go. So it's a very good question, Julie. I mean, obviously, if a Christmas card does come in the mail, which they do, I contact the person um, individually and thank them very much for their card and let them know that I don't normally send Christmas cards or receive them. Um, and everyone's like, oh, I'm so sorry. And then I'm like, no, I'm so sorry. I don't want you to feel bad because I'm so appreciative of people sending me cards. But yes, at least you know here, I love cards that are just generic encouragement. Thank you. That sort of thing. We do, however, celebrate our engagement, our anniversary, I mean. We've, we've been engaged a long time ago. But our anniversary is coming up in November, on November 8th. We're going to be in on stage for our anniversary, our 15th wedding anniversary. <laughs> what is Muckabilly? Deborah needs to be educated, everyone. What's Muckabilly? <laughs> so, yes, so Bruno's a very kind husband. He's letting us celebrate our um, anniversary in Orlando at on stage on the 8th of November. So that's very exciting. And we actually celebrated Brenner's mum and dad's 50th. You may have seen some of the pictures. Oh, there you go. We had some of the pictures. There you go. Donna Gray's helped you there. It's an accidental purchase, Deborah. That's what a mucka, muckabilly is accidental or unintentional purchase. Didn't mean to buy it, but I did. Whoops. Oh, well, I'll have to keep it. <laughs> oh, well, it landed in my stamp set collection. Oh, dear. <laughs> so, um, yes, we're very excited about celebrating mum and dad's 50th wedding anniversary. In fact, tonight I will have a post on the card that Bruno made. In fact, Bruno's card was as long as a piece of A4. So that was the length of his card or just a little bit less. Yes, it totally slipped in my shopping cart too. Whoops, how did it get in there? <laughs> Bruno always says, my credit card jumped out on the bench and it just paid for itself. And I accidentally got this item. I'm like, oh, did it? Accidentally jumped out of your wallet. <laughs> 
very funny. I really hope that I will see you, Crystal. I actually have a swap meet and greet um, event on on the Friday uh, on our break in Orlando because I'm really concerned I'm not going to just run into people. So I thought it would be fun to all get together, people who watch me or follow um, YouTube or my Random Act of Kindness group or they're part of my training program. I thought let's all meet together because we're all connected somehow online and that would be a lot of fun. We can get photos and do a swap and have a lot of fun. So we have a few hours, which is good. <laughs> I hope so. hope Shelly's going to be there too. It's going to be so good at our little meet and greet. We're going to meet a lot of people, new people. So that is all of the... Oh, no, I've got a couple more cards that I made. So you may have seen this one. And that's the falling... Is it falling for leaves? I think it is, that one. And I did it in the monochrome. So I did smoky slate in the background, but I even stamped off the smoky slate. And would you believe this edge here? See the edge? I hope we see you there, Rick. Yes, you can sign up, Crystal. I'll put the link to the... The event is actually here on this page. If you go to the events tab, um, you can see... Oh, whatever, Shelly. I'll be fangirling over you. I love your stuff. <laughs> You're such a talent. So, yes, yeah, so this is actually washi, this edge. I got it, fangirling. <laughs> so you can grab some of that. This is a different washi, but you could grab some of that. Um, I used this one here. And that's in the, which one is that one? Oh, man, my eyesight. I can't see a name, but it's in the holiday catalogue, this one. So it's one of them. Ah, oh, that's good, Rick. I'm happy. You'll be able to find... We'll go near the... Um, I thought the only thing that I know in that place that's going to stay in the same place, hopefully will not move, or if it does move, we'll move with it, and that is the display boards. So I said, let's just meet up in the display boards, wherever that might be. <laughs> because surely there'll be room there to just hang out and take photos. And hopefully the lighting is good because you'd want to hope so. That's where all the display boards are, right? So that's why I thought that'll be a good meeting place for us all. I think we've got 150 that have signed up so far. <laughs> it's going to be a party at the display board signs in Orlando. <laughs> we'll all be like, where are you going? I'm going to go meet Kylie and Bruno. Really? Why are you doing that? <laughs> no, don't say that there's no boards. There has to be display stamper boards in Orlando. <laughs> I did see my father just jump on here. Hello, Frank Natoli. Say hi to my dad, everyone. Hi, Dad. He likes to stalk me online, watch my live videos. When I saw him a couple of weeks ago, he's like, oh, so I hear you're into Starbucks now. I'm like, how do you know that? And Britta's like, he watches your videos. Oh, okay. <laughs> Hello. So this is what we're making today. See everyone saying hi to you, Dad. Thanks, Dad. So this is very exciting, this one. Hi, Kylie's dad. <laughs> it's it's fun having family on here. I had Luke coming on here and playing Havoc, pretending he liked my cards. I could hear his sarcasm. Yes, everyone's thinking of you, Dad. See, they're saying, how are you feeling these days? He's doing pretty good, considering he had a heart operation. Then, then he had a kidney transplant. Props to Dad that he's still here. He'll outlive all of us. He's the one that's had the most um, reconstruction on his body. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. No, this is a different dad. This is my dad, not Bruno's dad. Bruno's dad had his 50th on Friday. Yeah, this is my dad. <laughs> oh, look at, all the, look at all the love, dad. You can't say you're not loved. Look at all this. Oh, Christine's still thinking of you, dad. <laughs> Uh, well, this is the thing that I'm impressed with, Crystal. She said, my my parents wouldn't be able to um, work out how to go live. <laughs> but I'm impressed that my dad has actually worked out how to go live. Well done, Dad. I'm proud of you. you you're trying new things. That's good. <laughs> so this is today's card. Isn't this Stanza? 
<laughs> Angie, the best thing to do when you break up is go out and back in again. That's the best thing to do. I have found anyway. Oh, good, Maria. <laughs> so I have used silver, the champagne, the gold, and bronze in our card today. And it is inspired by the amazing Irene Rahman. Did I get that right? Not Irene. Who am I thinking of? Zara Premji. <laughs> Where did that name come from? Irene is in my team. <laughs> there you go, Irene. You get a little plug there as well. But no, this is from Zara Premji. And I was inspired because, yes, so many of us loved her card. We're like, oh my goodness, that is just the cleverest thing ever. So I'm going to show you how I did it and what makes it a little bit easier. Oh, I'm sorry to hear everyone's breaking up. One of these days, we're actually going to get the National Broadband set up here. Sadly, they set it up wrong, so our internet is not awesome. What I might try and do, I hopefully it will... No, my, phone, my phone's happy. I'll see if I can change to... Um, see if I can change to the normal Wi-Fi. Anyway... We'll see. I'll turn off all the Wi-Fi everywhere else and see if it works. So, oh, you're good, are you, Wendy? It might be your end, girls, but I'll just turn this off just in case. Bruno, are you using the Wi-Fi? He's like, no. He knows. No. That would be clever. Oh, good. Everyone's saying, it's okay. Sorry, you'll just have to plow through for now so let's turn this around and make this fun card and are we not loving this tin uh what is it called <laughs> tile tin uh <laughs> so long <laughs> impressions textured embossing i'll just put like five other words afterwards it's a really long, if you say the words, it's like, oh my goodness, I'm never going to get to the end. <laughs> so let's do a flippy flip. Here we go. Another muckabilly. Of course. Of course. There's always a reason to go shopping. Muckabilly. Here we go. Yay! And I've got to flip you back again, actually. So we'll move all of these, all my show and tell out of the way. This one's here. Good. Oh, it's looking quite good today. Got my light on. And we'll flip this around so that everything's the right way. Ten tile dynamic textures. It pre... <laughs> Love it. Okay, it's gonna really bling with this light. And I actually put the powder pink with it because I wanted it to grab, because copper can sometimes have like a pink um, sort of tone to it and so can the champagne. So I thought it sort of makes it a bit more subtle too because it's a very strong card and using the pink just softens it. Um, I did start with basic black, but I just found it was just too way too intense for me. But, you know, up to you, of course, what colours you want to use. So the first thing I'll start with, I've got my Whisper White because we need a sheet of that. I was so organised today and someone has tidied up this room. I'm not naming names. Bruno, did you tidy up this room? No. <laughs> Do you like how I blame him? <laughs> like no it has nothing to do with me your chaos in your room is your chaos yours and yours alone oh here it is sorry i found them i'll, st I'll stop blaming you now they were under a, a pile of coupons see <laughs> so let's cut this in half so in a4 that is going to be at 10.5 I know most of you like to do it the other way, which is at 14.9. I know, Bruno, you haven't done a video in a while. He actually wanted to do one this week. He really did. 
he has a card there and it is so awesome. Like literally and physically awesome. It is really good. So he's going to do a video on that. And it's using Love It, Chop It too. It's a beautiful card. So hopefully he does it this week. I'll make sure he does. Thank you for noticing, Christy. That's very sweet. Now, I want to lift this up just a little bit, but hopefully it doesn't muck things up because it's looking pretty good. Slowly. No way, Michelle. <laughs> he just comes in here, and then as soon as he comes in here, I'm like, I'm out of here. Check you later. So then the next section I did 10 centimetres by 14.4 so I'll just cut it at the 14.4 because then this piece of paper will be still useful later because I'll be using that one and then we'll do 10 centimeters and the 14.4 good so that's metric of course and this is going to be our template of what we're going to put all of these on and then we'll put the strips on and then emboss afterwards. I found that that was the easiest way to do it because you want it to be all even and all together. Ooh, just made a box card. That sounds interesting. So let's get the... The next thing I'm going to have to look for is the embossing folder. Who knows where I've put that. If I had to put it back where it belongs, that would shock me. Oh, I did. I put it back where it belongs. Oh, I love it when I do that. I surprise myself sometimes. I really do. There is hope for me yet. So I have done these at 10.5. I'll grab these ones because I think these ones are at 10 already. We'll make it easier. So what I found with my 12 by 12, I'll just show you this. When you get your glimmer paper, oh, thank you for sharing, girls. That's great. So when you get your foil or even your glimmer paper, you cut it in half. I found found cutting it at six, sorry about that line, cutting it at six inches by six or six, just down at six inches is the best way to, to make the most of it because then you can have like card bases from this. Um, and it's just the easiest way to keep it all together and then it'll still be useful for you. If you know you have a specific 3D project that you want to do, um, well, then, of course, don't chop it. But if you know that you're a card maker and that you very likely won't be doing um, doing any big projects, 3D projects, then that's the best way to do it. That's my hot tip. So what I'm going to do, I worked out that, I'll just cut that so that it's at 15 because it's just easier for measuring. So I worked out 3.6 is the go. One, two, 3.6. And if I have four of them, that will line up perfectly. But, you know, if there's a little bit left over, then we can just um, cut it down. So we go one, two, three point six. Does that look right? It looked a bit big. One, two, three point six. No, that was right. <laughs> you can see the mirror image. <laughs> Good thing I have clothes on. <laughs> so that one, that one. We need bronze and we need silver. So I'll just... I just am cutting it once so that I can get it at the even number, if, in case you're wondering why I'm cutting that strip. Just easier for me to work it out than trying to... Sometimes time wins over efficiency. And if I get a lot of time left just for that, then I'm going to go for time. <laughs> time wins. <laughs> Don't have enough time to be mucking around because of millimetres. No there we go, 3.6. That's my hot tip for today. Time versus saving a millimetre. <laughs> so we're going to stick these down. Now, the way that I went for, I went for pretty much the light, but I wanted the copper to be towards the um, 
like next to the powder pink because I thought that'll just bring in the color nicely. I'm using my Tombow. Don't need a huge amount. Stick that down. And remember, if there's any overlap, don't stress. You can just cut them off later. You're better off. Like even with this one, there's a little bit, like it's a little bit out. So just make sure you go to one side and then that'll be easy just for me to just cut down the, the side when I finish. And what I'll do, I'll do the cheats way. Put my glue directly on here. <laughs> wow, who cut these? So skew if. Good thing we can just chop it afterwards. There we go. Oh, well, at least it, it was pretty much perfect, that side. It's just this side that was a bit weird. But that's okay. We'll just chop down the edge there. And then I'll bring in the embossing folder. And the big shot. We'll get some embossing done. There we go. I'll do a chop with my guillotine. Ta -da. No worries, pop it. Now, when I lined this up, you just want to be mindful that you want to try as much as you can to get it even. Um. <laughs> there you go, Donna. That's the top secret one. So you can see here, we've got a little bit more that side than that side. So I'll just move it over this side a bit. Yeah, that'd be way too hard. Trying to line it up. No, thank you. I was just thinking maybe we can try something. Yeah, let's do that. It will play with your eyes a bit though. For those people who are OCD out there, this will kill you. But that's all right. We want to try new things, right? <laughs> You've been wondering the same thing. Well, here you go. This is how easy it is. You should all know me by now. I'm all about quick, easy, simple, simple dimples. So look at that. I've done it on the side. And I thought I'll do it on purpose. Do it coming skew if, which I really, really like. I really like that design. And because it's not directly on like embossing each each layer, I love that it's sort of half over each bit. So yeah, it's so simple. You can do it with any embossing folder too. There's all sorts of beautiful embossing folders you can do this with. And that's how simple it is. It's just like creating your own background. I'm glad it's something new for you all. Yay! I love when you need... <laughs> Karen's OCD. It needs to be straight and even. <laughs> See, I love things off center. <laughs> I love things being a little bit off center, a little bit skew if. Now, to soften it again, I had a layer of, and you probably didn't even notice this, but I have a layer of Whisper White behind. Oh, look at you, Christine. Oh, well, now you know the cheats version. This is the cheats way. <laughs> so I'm going to do 10 and I'm going to go for 10.2. I don't want a huge amount sort of coming out, just a really subtle. And then we did 4.4, so we're going to 4.6 for the other side. Hopefully this will line up. If not, we'll cut it down a bit because I did cut a bit on the side. Yeah, we'll cut it down a bit. Oh, thank you, Laura. I'm glad you like that. So we'll go to 10. Yeah, it's very, very simple way of getting an effective background. That is for sure. Mm, I'll just do a little bit on here, on the actual embossing. Because we're playing with millimetres here, it gets a little bit tricky. <laughs> If not, we'll just eyeball it. Oh, yeah, that's better. Yep. 
I'm happy with that. So, yeah, next time do the cheats way for sure. <laughs> it's a lot quicker when you do it like that. <laughs> it's all right. There's room in the world for everyone, OCD and non-OCD. It's what makes the world unique, right? Okay. Now we'll lay it down on our base. Look at that. Stunning. <laughs> I knew some of you were not going to deal with it being crooked. <laughs> I was like, you know, should I do it crooked? Should I? Do it. <laughs> okay. And even the edges are crooked. So we've got more on this side than we do at the top. And I love it. <laughs> it's so my thing. So then with the sentiment, I used the two inch punch. So very simple. Just used that. And then we'll do a little tiny bit of stamping, nothing major today, but I'm using the powder pink. And if you notice too, with the powder pink, um, Stampin' Up! put out a little notice just saying, look, the ink is just a little bit faded, but it's not gonna affect the quality of the ink. So if you have a sticker that's a bit faded, never fear, don't stress. So this is the stamps that I'm using. It's a brand new one from the Holiday Catalog. If you haven't got it, you need to muck a billy today and put that in your in your box. Now, I did this one on my card. See that one there? And, of course, the inside as well. But on this one, I'm going to change it up and use the cotton. Because cotton's so in right now. There it is there, this one here. So I used that one. Either, either. Whatever you're vibing on the day. So we'll stick that down. Hi, Yudai. Is Yudai, are you from Nihongo uh, Wakarimasu ne? Have we got another Japanese person here? No worries, Crystal. Thank you for coming. So I stamped off. And see, it's still quite strong. So it's good to stamp it off. And then the sentiment, we're going to use... We could probably even use this one here. It's good with the polymer because you can line it up and see if it's going to fit okay. So if I put this here, yep, that one works and that fits in. So I've tested that one and that one worked, but that's just a good way to gauge and go, yep, that'll, that'll fit in fine. And I'll use some Memento. I actually worked out yesterday. I was like, oh, I should really get my Memento ink refilled and get it all nice and juicy ready for you know for the live video today i realize i don't have any memento re so that's just gonna have to go on the shopping list today along with maybe some muckabilly to go with it <laughs> you need to order these supplies sorry laura i'm causing muckabilly <laughs> oh no now i don't know i feel like this isn't strong oh yeah it's happy it's just because it was, um, it's got a bit of ink on it. It's looking like it's not, or it's stained. But just because it's stained doesn't mean it's broken. Oh, and do remember with photopolymer that if you want a crisper image, that it's always good to use your stamp and pierce mat. I always forget until it's too late. I'll use it for the next one. Now, the other thing that we need to do, we'll, in, we'll stamp the inside because it's good to have the inside of our card. And then we'll also do our envelope as well. So the inside of the card, I'm not going to stamp off. I'm going to leave it as it is because I want it to be nice and visible. So we'll just stamp the two edges there. And that's the inside. So we're going to stick that down. How beautiful is that? And it's so simple, just decorating it like that. And same with your card. 
really simple. Oops, there goes the stamp. While you're, you know, while you're here stamping, why not just do everything all at once? And then it's all set, ready to go. Ready to send to someone special. Remember I have a, a, the random act of kindness group. So if you're not sure who to send cards to, join the group and then you'll have so many people to send cards to that you can't keep up. It's so good. So that's the inside. That's the envelope. Let's do our sentiment now. So we just need to cut out using the big shot. I'm going to use my stitched shapes. So I've got these here. I'm not going to pull out because I've got the square ones. And here we've got the circle ones. So I'll just hold on to them. And I used, I just got my framelit or my little cut out and then lined up and went, nope, that doesn't fit. So it's the second biggest circle. These are beautiful, these stitch shapes. <laughs> Machiavelli, they had never heard of it. I'll have to read the rest. It says Seymour. Well, that's what we were taught in Tagalog class in the Philippines in Manila by a, by a Filipino teacher. <laughs> so unless he was pulling our leg, which, you know, could be likely. But yes, then I went back to work after um, we had class. I went back to work and I asked all the girls, I'm like, what's Muckabilly? And they were all laughing. So I double checked and rechecked. Maybe boys don't understand what muckabilly is because they don't shop <laughs> unintentionally. <laughs> it seems to be what girls do. <laughs> so we've got one. And where's my other one? On the ground? No. Covered. Here it is. <laughs> my boss lady. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> Well, you never know. It could be in your inflection, Mandy. I kept saying, um, what's Muckabilly? And they were like, yeah, it's like unintentional shopping. You don't mean to shop, but you just did. Now, I need my other layer. Here it is. Because when you're doing thinlets, you need the next layer. Well, anyway, even if it's not true, we've made up a brilliant word. It can be our code word for accidental shopping. You could even say to your husband, just going out to Muckabilly and they won't even know what you're talking about. They'll be like, sure, love. No worries. See you soon. <laughs> we need a code word. That's hilarious. Look at that. Isn't it beautiful? Now, I did try a few things. In fact, I think I have them here. And this is usually what I do to try out new things. But these look absolutely stunning, right? But I just felt like it was just a little bit too much against the foil underneath. And I did do a few even in the um, powder pink as well. Um... Yeah, I think it's an awesome code word for stampers. Even if it's not Tagalog, it's a, it's our word now. We've done it. Even if it's not in the even if it's not from the Philippines, it's our word. <laughs> not even the Filipinos will know what we're talking about. <laughs> Just us. <laughs> there we go. And then I'm going to raise them. Now, I've got an ingenious new idea that I wish I did a long, long time ago. I'm so cut with myself that I didn't do this earlier. But what I have done was get organized. Well, try. You know, I can only wish. But if you have two dimensional packs, I've got my bigger ones and my smaller ones, they fit perfectly in the clear mount case. So now I just pop them in there and I chuck them on my table, but they're always together. And the, the one that's being used can sit on top. 
see we opened too many of them so now it's going to be a lot more organized because look at this look at this chaos so now it'll be just the one up the top finish this then you may move on to the next one that's what's going to happen in this room now isn't that exciting so yes highly recommend the clear case here we go one in the middle I'm glad you like that, Shelly. I was very excited when I saw that they actually sit in there perfectly. Without me having to push them, they sit nicely next to each other. So I was very happy. Our clear mat cases are proving to be very good storage tools. Yeah, see, I had that here. Um, you could actually do a die cut, but it was interesting. I felt like it fought. I mean, obviously, it's personal preference. But I did have that um, that little twig. And I even had it in the pink as well. And I don't know. Maybe it, maybe it's a good idea. Maybe we should try it. I just felt like it was a... It was fighting with each other. I'll get the other one because I had another petal pink one here too. Look at me. I was like... I, I literally stuck it down and then I'm like... Oh, I'm not feeling it. It's not it's not grabbing me today. So I actually removed it after I had stuck it down. No, I can't find the other ones. They've disappeared. I found another of the um the champagne. It's too much. Yeah, I felt like it was too much. It was like fighting against each other because it's like the same and even in the pink it did the same thing it was just like whoa i've suddenly gone into overload but anyway you could probably if anything if you were to add anything behind to soften it what i was thinking but i'm a bit i was a bit lazy was the um whoops destroying everything here was the the trim like you could probably put a little bit of that behind because it's not too heavy. So what I like to do with the trim, I'll just show you so that you, I just wrap it around my hand. Whoops. And you can put that behind like that. Sort of just as a little accent, like a little nest. Yeah. That's an idea. But I'm sure you girls will come up with all sorts of amazing things. You're going to come up with your own little invention um, for what to do with this, your version of this card, which I'm excited about. I think it's great when we can look at what people do. Oh, now they want to jump on in. <laughs> they want to join the party. Probably in the Whisper White, it actually would look quite nice. You girls, you all love your embellishments. I'm such a simple girl. Sometimes my cards end up looking masculine without me even meaning to. <laughs> I'm like, ah, oh, whoops, I didn't mean to make a masculine. Someone will comment, I love your masculine card. And I'm like, ah, oh, is it masculine? <laughs> I didn't mean for it to be. <laughs> so I'll just put some of this on. We'll test it. We'll have some fun. I'm doing some of this. It can be a bit tricky to play with this, but just don't be too particular. And the good thing about it being foil is it comes off very easy with this. So what you can do, I use my dimensionals to sort of put it in place. And then if you have any bits that are sort of finishing it, you know, hanging out, so ends, I grab the ends and make sure that they're put inside because you don't want them to come out, but you do want some of the loop to come out. So you just play with, that's how I do this anyway. All of you could be very different. And so that just gives it a little, we'll bring that one in a bit more. Yes, it is about that. So it's just going to be very subtle, but it's just another little accent behind it. Probably only people who get the card will be able to see it. 
<laughs> Maybe if I use silver, you can see it a bit better because the copper's here. But anyway, that's another idea if you wanted to do that. Or someone was saying a little bow here. That's another idea. Yeah. So there you go. There's our beautiful card. And we do have an envelope here somewhere. While I was looking for framelits, I've just thrown the envelope somewhere. Where are you, little envelope? I'll find him in a moment. Seriously, this room. I'm so glad some of you are messy crafters. And to all the OCD clean people out there, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. I apologize for my chaos. Just call me Chaos Kylie. And somehow it all gets done. How? We still don't know. It's still a mystery to many of us. It is you won't find it eventually so there we go there's our card and the exciting thing is it's it used that beautiful new country home stamp set and also the gorgeous tin tile embossing folder so they're two definite must-haves that you want to have in your collection and you can make beautiful cards like these ones if you're OCD, you do the one on the left. If you are okay with it being artistically interesting, <laughs> you can go with the one on the right. <laughs> so there you go. Let's do a flip. And I'll say my little goodbyes. I can't believe how quickly time goes. I'm so happy you're all working out where you're all from. Oh, thank you. I'm so glad, Deborah. Hi. How is everyone? Thank you for watching me and commenting and taking part. Please feel free to share if you think there's team members that would like to see my embossing folder technique. Because it seems like a few of you didn't realise that you could make it very easy. Yes, so please share, please follow, please subscribe and remember that you can always watch the replay. If you're watching the replay, then please comment. We love hearing from you. And for all those lovely people out there that are wondering what Stampin' Up! is, now you know, it's a card making company. You can also do scrapbooking as well and you can buy these beautiful products from demonstrators in Australia. I'd love to look after you. I've had some lovely emails from people lately that have said that they're looking for a demonstrator and they saw me online through YouTube and things like that. So I was very happy to look after them. I'm like, sure, I'd love to have you as a customer. Come and join me. <laughs> Get to join my VIP group and we have lots of fun. <laughs> G'day from the future. <laughs> if you're watching the replay. That's right. <laughs> so yes, that is the week. Um, we've just got this amazing holiday catalog that's happening right now. And that's our main promotion at the moment. Um, we do have the international highlights starting tomorrow morning. No, today's Monday, Wednesday morning. So look out for the international highlights. Any demonstrators are welcome to play along. Um, and it's a lot of fun. Oh, I don't know. There's giggle of mine. Everyone's like, your giggle, that laugh, you can hear it a mile away. <laughs> it's its own unique laugh. <laughs> so um, some people call it evil. I promise I'm not evil. I promise. Um, but yes, you can um, definitely order from the holiday catalog. And what was I saying before I, I got distracted? <laughs> That's right. As a VIP, you'll get very well looked after. Drawers and gifts and handmade cards and all sorts of amazing things. So um, if you live in Australia and you're looking for a demonstrator to order through, you don't need to have workshops. You can just order through me directly on my online store and you won't get bugged. I promise I won't bug you. I won't chase you. I won't stalk you. Just whenever you want to order, you can order. Um, it's up to you if you want the rewards. And this month we also have our September tutorial bundle. Now the September tutorial bundle is open for everyone to purchase. It's $20 Australian. It has 12 amazing 
tutorials in it from 12 different demonstrators. So demonstrators, you're welcome to purchase it if you would like. For my customers and for my team members, <laughs> they will give Google. For my customers and my team members, I get the um, tutorial bundle for free, which is really good. Thank you, Deborah. I'm so happy to hear that. Um, so yeah, so if you'd like the tutorial bundle, you can either get it by paying $20 Australian, which is amazing because that's like a little bit over $2 per tutorial. And there's a lot of work that goes into these tutorial bundles. Uh, or you can purchase online any amount and you get it free. And my team members all get it free as well. So lots of gifts for everyone because I want to say thank you. It's my way of thanking you for ordering. I know you have a lot of choice out there. So I want to look after you. Oh, you're too cute, Jennifer. <laughs> Some people say they wish they were my upline. And then I think some of my team members are wishing I wasn't their upline. <laughs> They're like, oh man, it's Kylie again. <laughs> but no, it is a lot of fun. We have a great time. But I tell you what, no matter, I didn't have an upline. My upline was Bruno's sister. And Angela, uh, she left not long after I joined. So pretty soon into the piece, I was on my own. So I'm proof that you can actually make a, a very successful business without having necessarily direct support. Um, I could always go to my next team member, Sue Maddox. She's been brilliant. But I was just one of those people that was happy to just do my thing and work out different ways of doing things and work out my own story and my own stampin' up um my own stampin' up ideas, really. And it was good because it, then it made me become less dependent on my upline and make my own individual business. So, yeah, you can get support, though. Like I took Lisa Preto's training and I looked at other demonstrators for training and I asked a lot of questions. So, that, you know, there's a lot of that around, which is good. And I have training. You can join my training and then you'll be able to get a lot of extra help there too. Everyone who did the um, Go For Grease last year, they're just rocking it. Oh my goodness. <laughs> yes. Yes. Very good, Donna. <laughs> and it's very good. You can get a lot of assistant and assistance and help um, with different training programs that are available through lots of different demonstrators. Janet Wakelin, um, Rhonda Wade does training... Uh, I think there's also uh, Lisa Zolmanak, she does training. Um, so there's a few demonstrators out there that do training. So look out for them. There's lots of help. You're not alone. Don't ever feel like an orphan. I always say if you're an orphan, it's because you've decided to be one because you can definitely find people to gravitate or someone that you can network with that becomes your buddy. And sometimes the buddies are actually more useful than necessarily your team leader um, because sometimes you can look at your team leader and say, oh, well, they're only doing that because they get something out of me. They get commission. So, you know, I don't know if they're actually doing it to help me or whether they're doing it because they want to succeed and get cash. Um, and, you know, it's not that's not the case at all. There's a lot of demonstrators out there that don't do anything for their team at all. So, you know, if you were to have a team lead that does something for you, I'd just be grateful. <laughs> I wouldn't be, I wouldn't be imputing any motives, <laughs> but, um, yeah, it's up to you where you want to get that training from. And I actually find with my team that they do better when they pair up together or with someone in another country than necessarily, you know, listening to what I, you know, they listen to what I say, but they have made it their own and they've found their own path, which is exciting. All of us can do that. Well, every one of us have that opportunity. So it's good. And we'll all cheer you on. I love what Angie said. We're part of a big Stampin' Up! family and it's true. You've got so much support and so many people cheering you on. Yeah, a great community, big time. You just got to put yourself out there, ask questions, don't be shy, network with people, private message them and say, where are you at with your business? And, you know, do you want to collaborate? Um, think of ideas that you can do. I started doing blog hops together and it was the best thing I possibly could have done. So yeah, it's brilliant. Yes, exactly. So thank you all very much for being here. I hope that we get lots of new orders today. We're looking forward to looking after all our customers, including brand new customers. 
Um, if you need a catalog, you don't know what Stampin' Up! is, please, please, please contact me. I love getting those messages that says, um, can you tell me a bit more about Stampin' Up? And can I please get a catalog? Um, yes, I would love to help you. <laughs> oh, Angie is your team member. Oh, she's the best. Don't be scared, Barb. Just, you know, if you make mistakes, who cares? It's called being human. Look at me, I'm like chaos. If I can do a video, anyone can do a video. I'm like, where did I put the envelope that I just stamped? Seriously. Then I'm blaming Bruno for my for my cardstock going missing and it's clearly my fault because the place is chaos. <laughs> so yeah, you can do it. Just, just jump on in. <laughs> so have a great week. We'll see you next week for another video. And um, I really hope you enjoyed our card making session today. And look out this week for all the amazing things that are happening on our blog. Tonight, there's the anniversary card that Bruno made. Um, tomorrow, I'll post the video of my um, this video on my blog. We've got the international highlights on Wednesday. Another card from Bruno on Thursday. And hopefully, his video to go with it. I'm going to look him in. And a video to go with it for Bruno. And then Friday, I'll have something created by then for you. So, And Pinterest highlights on Saturday. Yay! Busy week ahead. So thank you all for being here and we'll see you next week. Bye! Oh, I will, Angie. Thank you. Bye. Have a great week. And if you want to join my Random Act of Kindness group, I'll put all the links and everything up afterwards. So please come back and have a look. Thanks for being here. Bye!